And after a hotly contested matchup in the Orange Conference, we shift our focus over to the blue side of this tournament tree as we jump in to the Platinum League quarterfinals. My name is Curtis. That is Inanimate J. We are getting set for a big-time matchup between the number two overall seed in the Platinum League, the Hawks, taking on the winners of the play-in series earlier last week against the Sharks. It is the Jets. Hawks, Jets, taking to the skies to try to see who has a date in the conference finals. Jay, this is this is going to be a really, really good matchup against two teams with very skilled players. On paper, this one actually seemed to be just a little bit of a mismatch. You got uppercase one for the Hawks. Apparently, reading chat during the break, it's his birthday today. So <laughs> nothing would be a sweeter birthday present than getting the Hawks to... Their first playoff series win since season one, this being their first playoff appearance since the inaugural season of MLD. There were only six teams back then, four times as many franchises now, and they finally find their way back into the playoff picture as the number one overall seed in the Blue Conference. Big time player, uppercase one. You've seen some of the hype things that he can do, that zero second equalizer that he pulled off in week nine that ultimately led towards the Hawks winning the division in the end over these very same Jets, Curtis. Yeah, it ends up being a rematch against their week or from their week nine contest, and it was a really, really good one. And it is going to be four players who are very familiar with each other in that Sky Division. Old Man Ballin, as you mentioned, or as I mentioned, I should say, and uppercase one for the Hawks. On the Jets side, it is KD and Kracer Lincoln. Who else would it be? We are just about set for action. We're going to get these signals out to the teams. It is a best of seven. A date in the Blue Conference Finals is at stake. We are just about ready for Rocket League. This one going to get going very, very quickly. Five minutes on your clock. A DFH Stadium lit up. And we are ready to go. Countdown is on. It is going to be in the middle for the kick. And it's Kreiser who's going to win that deep into the Hawks' end to get things started here in Game 1. Pass into the middle. And Kreiser Link is a little bit shy of this. Taking control is uppercase. The flick back to center field. It's going to be up the sidewall. Old man Ballin is going to jump off it, jump ahead of it. And KD has it up the side going back the other way. Not enough boost to try to challenge this. It'll be back in the Hawks end. And uppercase one going to take it towards the side. Jets going to try to get revenge after that week nine defeat at the hands of these very same Hawks. It shifted the division focus in that sky division. This is going to be a 1v2. KD can't get it past uppercase one. Still a chance for Kracer Link, but it'll touch it wide as we played 45 seconds. Both teams playing very, very timidly. More of the Hawks than the Jets. This is going to be in the, the box, but Old Man Ballin's going to take care of it as we approach a minute gone. Really tentative start out of the Hawks right now. They're hemmed in their own end at the moment, not able to get any kind of power clear. And a lot of this comes down to uppercase one right now, very much uh, having this tendency to bring this under control, a very prominent ones player. The problem with this right now, the Jets have got that midfield on lockdown. And by the time he gets up to that midfield line, he's run out of boost and doesn't have enough to pull into a flick to get it over that line. Minute 20 in, uppercase one's going to get a second touch over Kracer Link. Katie's going to take control in his own corner. Up the side ramp. He'll take possession and control in the Hawks' corner. Tries a delicate touch out to the front. And that is taken care of by Old Man Ballin. Uppercase with the challenge. He's going to get this out to midfield. Old Man Ballin has a play. He'll actually fake it to uppercase. And uppercase is going to put it in the far corner. That's a 1-0 lead for the Hawks. Statue of Liberty play at midfield here as OMB goes up looking for the touch. You can see KD with that little hesitation. Turns toward it thinking he's got a loose ball. Uppercase there gets a little bit of a tip over top. KD stuck in no man's land. It's 1-0 Hawks. Minute 39 into game one and this does not get any closer at the moment. Jets need to try to find a hero, find a difference maker. Still plenty of time though in this first of possibly seven games. Kracer's going to try to tie it up. It's uppercase with a save coming across to cut him off. And still, it's a 1-0 lead. Uppercase up the side rim. Gets this back to midfield. He'll wait patiently. Sent back into the Hawks' end. It'll be Old Man Ball, and he makes a mistake here. But it looks like he's going to live to tell about it. And then on cue, uppercase gets demo. OMB. Gets the challenge. That's back towards the Jets net. And it's going to be a save by Kracer Link as it's sent back down by KD right at Old Man Ball. And as they try to reverse possession. A lot of back and forth here. The Hawks finally able to get that ball upfield. But they're not getting it out for long stretches of time. One chance. 
that they get before they lose control oh. of this ball, and the Jets start to circle in again, really bringing themselves to bear in that offensive end. The Hawks really need to get this ball under control for longer stretches of time. You mentioned it, and they're basically one opportunity and done in that offensive zone, and it's going to hurt them long term. That's a shot that's in from uppercase, making a 2 nothing lead. Jets way too hesitant on that defensively. This ball sits there for way too long. You see both Jets have to turn around. They're driving in straight lines back towards their net. No option coverage on that ball as it comes down. Uppercase one too easy with all the time in the world. 133 seconds to go. This is going to be back the other way. Hawks with the clear. Uppercase is up on the sidewall. He'll put it down and Kraserlink's going to get it. Sends it at the net. OMB's going to take care of that one fairly easily. It'll drop on KD's hood. Off the side. Going to try to get there. This is challenged up above the Jets crossbar. Kraser only puts it in a bad spot. This is going to be dangerous, but neither Hawk can get there in time as both are recovering for boost and possession. And it's back in the Jets corner again. All of a sudden, the Jets very much on the defensive in a lot of cases here. They've had the opportunities. They just haven't been able to convert anything. And the Hawks, every time they get this ball past halfway, they seem dangerous. They seem really likely to get a shot on goal, if not be able to put it in. The Jets have got to be aware of that right now. 90 seconds left. This is going to be a Hawks play in front of that net. Kracer is going to get in front of it. Great job defensively by KD to stand his ground and keep that away from the box. Hawks been very opportunistic. It's going to be another chance for them in, in the box for the moment. OMB is going to come in. He's going to take a shot. And it's going to go just above the net. Actually, that was uppercase with a shot. It's going to be still in frame. Chance it's going to be uppercase. Putting the hat trick goal in with a minute six to go. The uppercase one really good job holding that ball and gets a demo on Kracer Link as well. He spawns backside, but KD already lost through the smoke screen, circling around that one. The Jets are in disarray right now as they are down 3-0 to their rivals with a minute left to go in game one. They can't afford to let this get any worse. Hawks trying to keep this back into the Jets and just to waste some time. That's going to be a Kracer Link play. He's going to try for a double here. He's got the angle. Shot is off the crossbar. The double touch is good. Ends up being three touches, and they get it back to a two-goal deficit. Lot of time here. You see old man ball and do a big circle there. He needed to challenge that one. Uppercase has got the net, but somebody has to take that ball away from Kracer as he brings it up. Too easy off the backboard, and he gets the first one for the Jets. They got time to find two more. They are on the comeback trail. We'll see if they can find the next step in it. It'll be Kracer Link. Has possession. Puts it up off the crossbar. KD is lurking. And he's going to be at the left wing side. That's at the net. It's in frame. Chance and KD can't finish it. 39 on the clock. They still need at least one to make it a shot. But the Hawks are going to ice the game. Uppercase has all four for the Hawks. This one from midfield. And they are going to take game one. KD had the right idea. Waited for the opportunity to try and catch the Hawks in transition at midfield. Had the shot on. Rolled off the post and away. Uppercase taking it right back from downtown. 4-1. The three goal lead restored. Big statement by the Hawks in game one as they are likely going to ice this and keep themselves in the possession of the ball for as long as they can. Kracer's going to put this back into the Hawks' end, but a one-and-done chance as the Hawks now take possession again. Jets likely waiting for that second chance. It'll be at the Hawks' net, and Kracer's going to get a long one, making it a two-goal deficit, but still not enough time. 15 seconds left. It's doable, but they need a kickoff goal in about... Five seconds max, I think, is the amount yep. of time that they're going to have to take to get this third goal. It's a good shot by Kracer. Caught Old Man Ball and just a little bit off his line, but they have their work cut out for them here. 15 seconds on this clock. Kracer's got to get something done, but up is Old Man Ball with a really good play to get this deep into the Jets' end, and that is going to kill all the time necessary to seal game one for the Hawks. Really good effort out of them in this first game, and things are just getting started. In this best of seven, Hawks win 4-2 as they have a 1-0 lead in this quarterfinal series. And the birthday boy uppercase won four goals, two saves, five shots. Very much so the focal point of the Hawks offense there in game number one. I, got, I, I get the sense, Curtis, that KD really needs to bring himself into this game because we didn't say very much about him through the right. course of that first game. And I feel like if he can get himself activated, if he can be engaged, turn on the afterburners. Might go a long way to getting the Jets in game two. He's got three shots in the game one. That said, not a lot of them that I can recall had a big threat to go into the net. They were either right at somebody or they were wide or above. 
that crossbar. So this is definitely KD territory. KD can single-handedly take over a game if the Hawks let him. KD has to make them let him and insert himself into this contest. KD had the one shot late, the one that rolled off the base of the post, hit the upper corner, and then fell away. And that's the one that you, you think, if he just managed to get that on target, that was a different game altogether. It's not a three-goal three goal game with 45 left. It's a one-goal game with 45 right. left. And those are the types of shots that you're in a playoff game. You're in a best of seven. You have to make sure that you put those chances in, especially when the entire net gets left open for you. Yeah, no kidding. We are just about ready for game two. Five minutes is on the clock. This becomes a big, big moment. For the Jets, it is imperative that they get the first and maybe even the second goal. KD is going to put himself in a good spot. It's going to be up above, and that is Kreiser with a shot, and it's a save coming down on top of Old Man Ball, and he'll take control. Came some really far back Kreiser link, but he ends up putting that shot directly into the keeper. And that's the type of thing where you're coming from that far back. You don't have a lot of time and boost left to really do the micro adjustments needed to place that ball where you want it to go. This will be at the back wall in the Hawks' end. That's going to be in front. Angled shot, and Kreiser can't find the net. Just wide at that far post. 30 seconds in. Now 40. KD's going to try to get the double. The fake might work. It's still in front. Kreiser is going to commit to this a little bit late, and the Hawks have uppercase one on a dribble. This is going to be a flick try at the crossbar. Down. Bowen is up. He can't put it home either. And they go up by the wayside with that opportunity. Still scoreless a full minute in. Big chances for both teams on either end. Kreiser link looking for the angle. Old man Ballin will deflect that up off the crossbar. But again, right now the Jets' pressure, it's not quite in sync. They're getting these second opportunities that they're not attacking. And they really have to figure that one out soon because uh -oh. upper case one. You give him chances, he should take them. That one's just wide, but there's still an opportunity. Oh, then San KD is going to come in and ruin it finally as Kreiser went above and beyond the the clear chance. KD is up, trying to find it. It's off the back. Kreiser's got to find it on the other side. He's going to put it far side and away thanks to the help of the defender. Still scoreless. Both teams with plenty of opportunities. Neither one can hit the magical finish button as of yet. It's going to be up off the ceiling. Along the midfield line, KD's going to jump in front. He's going to put this on and in on the double touch, possibly. The fake and a big save coming across the face of goal. Old man Ballin preserves the scoreless tie. KD needed power on that one. Got the wheels, needed the nose, because there is no way old man Ballin would get there if that shot had any velocity behind that. We're still scoreless here, but the Jets have had their opportunities. This is going to drop in frame unless the Hawks have something to say about it. Kreiser's off the back. KD is lurking. Actually, it'll be Kreiser again. Shot is on the net. Not a lot of velocity on it. Kreiser can't find the third touch. KD is way too passive right now. He's got to take advantage of these opportunities in the second touches. Man, big time chances for the Jets. I can't believe that oh. they didn't find a way to do that one. Here's the one that they want, though. It's the easiest one. 10-5 touchdown. Kreiser Link will take the lead for the Jets. <laughs> the football fever getting to you too. Halftime and Kreiser Link getting the runner to the opposite end zone. A little bit of overextension on the Hawks and they pay for it dearly. The Jets finally able to put the finish button into play. one nothing Bluebirds. They needed that goal. They needed the momentum to try and bring this forward. They've had so many chances so far this game and they just can't seem to find that last little bit of clinicality in front of that net just snatching at their second and third opportunities and forcing them wide. Kreiser Link going to take this into the opponent's end. Up and above the halfway line, KD will wait. He'll try to attack this, but a good job by old man Ballin to assert himself. This is going to be in front of that Jets net. Kreiser is going to put it in his own corner, but it does set up for a Hawks opportunity. Uppercase. Loses possession. It's KD up and above one. He's got a runner back towards the net. Uppercase with a save for the moment, but KD is going to be persistent enough to put that one home. Great job by KD. Rolls himself around so he keeps the nose pointed forward. And great control after that little chip over OMB. The little bit of a boost to get down to the ground. Win that foot race against uppercase one. He finds that little bit of a seam to get past the save. They have a two-goal lead. That is exactly what KD needed to get himself going as he is off to a slow start in this series. Uppercase one's going to take this back in. They need to find a goal on the other side. This is going to be in front and uppercase. Has all five goals for the Hawks in this series. None bigger than that one so far. Wins the kickoff to himself in the corner. Crazy Link tries to challenge him, but he's slow. Gave up way too much room between himself and the boards as he came in for the challenge. Uppercase one, he's a skilled ones player. He knows how to win 50-50s like that. Does it to himself, and he's got that goal. 106 seconds, including tax left in game number three. Number two, should say. 
KD is going to take this one up off the sidewall. OMB is going to lose possession in the corner. He avoids a demo. Doesn't have a bunch of... Actually, he has a ton of boosts to speak up. I lied. It'll be a chance for uppercase one to clear it, but that's going to fail to do so. OMB is going to try to jump at it. KD trying to make things difficult. Keeps it in the Hawks' corner. Redbirds having a problem getting out of their own zone. It'll be uppercase. Uppercase going to take it into the corner. He's going to try to get it around KD. KD makes things difficult, but it is still in frame. And Old Man Ballin is going to fly underneath it and can't get it directed on to the net. What he did 106. do, though, what he did do on the way through, Curtis, he disrupted Kraser Link, trying to get to that ball, get a quick counter, just did enough to throw Kraser Link off in his own corner, slow down that clear so the Hawks have a chance to pick it up at midfield. 52 left. This is going to pop into frame. It's Old Man Ballin. Big save by KD. It's still in the box. And Kraser Link gets a big clear. Now they can try to ice this game. It's going to be up in the air. Taken in by uppercase. He needs a second piece of contact. But the pinch is going to send it around the corner. OMB. Lateral play. KD trying to take advantage. It's up off the back. Kraser is up. But he is going to fly by it. And uppercase has a chance. The turn back by Kraser is a good one, though. It's going to be OMB back in his own end. The tap is going to put that in a terrible spot. KD on the dribble play, finds it far side, but he can't put it home. Still 20 seconds left. That is a chance. OMB down to uppercase. Uppercase gets it past one. They need to get this directed onto net soon. The ceiling play from uppercase. He's going to find the touch. It's OMB. Angle. Big save at the top of the box. Still a chance. It's off the back. Double. Scores. Uppercase ties the game. And he is one for heroics as he puts it in and deuces wild. Big time pressure out of the Hawks as they keep this ball in the corner for at least 15 touches. The Jets have no ability to get it clear. And uppercase one with OMB finally fighting way through tie game late as they about force overtime here these hawks i swear to you have a flair for the dramatics as they find another one here halfway line and it is ot golden goal time to get them to a second game victory hawks have a chance to go up 2-0 in the series kracer is going to try to end those dreams early but it'll be sent back into the jets end on the clear 10 seconds in 2 ot gd is going to send this around Uppercase going to take his time. No real pressure coming yet. Kracer is going to put himself in position. KD back will play this off the back wall. Needs a tough touch. This is going to be top of the box. Old man balling towards that net. It's going to be off the post. Jets need a clear away. Kracer gets it. It's going to be sent back to the halfway line. 35 seconds in. That's a shot that Old Man Ballin's going to take care of. Kracer's up, but he can't angle this at the net. He'll put it in the offensive corner instead where uppercase one will take it. Uppercase one. He's been the hero so far. He's going to try the flick. That goes top of the box for OMB. Off the nose. Down to KD and Kracer Link. Both of them in the same spot fighting over the ball. This might be a problem, but they might be able to make it work. It's top of the box. And the Hawks have a 2v1. OMB. Good job, good job by Kracer. Jumping right in front of that challenge. And it is 104 in. And still a deuces wild game. Feel like Kracer Link gave KD a little bit too much space on that play. It was a slow oh! dribble. Won't matter. Kracer Link with the flick. He'll find the tie game. They'll find the tie series as they take it 3-2. to two. I think OMB did not anticipate this flick. He got up way too late for the ball. Ended up underneath it with his nose pointed back at his own net. That is a big, big problem and a really good flick by Kracer as he catches OMB off guard. And the Jets have tied the series. Big goal, but look at the offensive change out of the Jets. Ten shots on goal in that second game. They finally find some gas in the tank. They forced the Hawks into seven saves out of that, too. Every single ball the Jets hit was on that red net. 3-2. Jets have come back with a wave in that second game. They need a good start again to the third game and not let the Hawks back into it. And on the other side, the Hawks... Every goal that has been scored by the Redbirds belongs to uppercase one. OMB has had chances, but he's been really the savior and the assist guy so far. He'll need to continue that role. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like once OMB really gets into it, he had a lot to do with that tying goal late, kept the play alive in the corner, gave uppercase one just enough space to make that goal happen. But he just needs to be a little bit sharper. In a couple of situations, like the one we saw there, he's off his line, he's coming out to challenge, but he doesn't recognize that the ball is completely in Kracer Link's control. That's the type of thing that you just have to work out if you're going to win these playoff series, especially when the teams are so closely matched. Uppercase one taking all the time that you can between games, just trying to calm themselves down, get themselves back into form for game three. This becomes a massive game three. 
winner's going to have the advantage in this series. They've all need four victories to get on to the next round of these Platinum League playoffs. If you guys are just joining us, you've missed a very, very good series so far, and how dare you? This is going to be a chance for Old Man Ball, and he's going to send that towards the Jets' end, but not quite at the net. This will be another opportunity. The strike from uppercase is going to be just high, and here comes Link back the other way. Oh, OMB, he's got to make a save, and he will by just getting across. Actually, that was uppercase. Still a chance. Pinch play scores. KD, one goal, nothing. One goal, two, nothing. 27 seconds in. Uppercase one doesn't keep this ball under control in the corner. It's wild. There's space between him, and KD reads it well. Gets that inside line. Uppercase is outside towards the boards. Means that any kind of 50 is going to go back towards his net. Big misplay by the Hawks captain there, and now they are behind again here in game three. This will be back off of the sidewall. KD shot near side got it two nothing 33 seconds in Jets are rolling yeah the Jets they recognize that the kickoff is going to be important here crazy doing a great job to bully uppercase one into that ball sets it up for KD as he comes up to midfield quick two goal lead here but we've seen the Hawks once they buckle down once they get control of that ball they are going to start to pressure the Jets and the Jets have got to stretch this lead out further if there is a most improved player between weeks probably seven and now you have to put Kracerlink in that conversation. He has improved very, very much in his play between then and now, and it's part of the reason why the Jets are in the position they are. Oh, oh that's uppercase. Way in. That is a huge, as I say that, he nearly puts it in his own net, but he does hit the post, and it is still 2 nothing. Oh, man, that ceiling play. Uppercase oh. is up. He's got it. Cuts the lead to one right on the one-minute played mark. It's 2-1. And the Jets get caught playing around with it in their own end. KD and Kracer stuck in the same spot, both pointed back towards their net. It goes up the ramp, and neither one is in any position to defend. And with a minute gone, it's back to a 2-1 game. Can I remind everybody that this kid plays on keyboard? Because that <laughs> kid plays on keyboard. I, that actually, kid's better than me on that. keyboard than I am with 3,000 hours on a controller. <laughs> that's a chance short side that's an opportunity for Kracer as well but not enough velocity on it and back the other way come the Hawks uppercase has it he's going to boost into this has the angle trying to find a touch oh it's on the goal line oh and B scores what a play by uppercase one to set that up he had five touches one touch two three it's actually oh, three but it's three. enough that's to fine. get it across Kracer link completely flabbergasted by that touch goes along the goal line behind him old man ball and gets there with the reach of that gtr 2-2 two, two, 90 seconds gone it's a shootout for game three minute and a half in 2-2 two, two game deuces wild in game three this will be a chance that the jets send it back deep off the corner getting there first is crazy he'll send that deep into the hawks other corner up the sidewall Uppercase is there. It'll be deferred to Old Man Ball, and he'll put it in the air on the flip. Still up. Finds himself in a weird spot. Still might be able to correct. Kracer's going to put it up the ramp. Back to half we go. Kracer sends this deep, and that's a good save from Uppercase. KD still making this a problem for the Hawks, and the double commit will at least get it back out to half, and that's a good touch by Uppercase, at least putting it into the Jets' end so they can recover the rotation. The Jets have this little bit of a tendency after their transition back to defense. They're not really well set to try and get the ball clear. And this really plays into the Hawks' favor because once they've got the Jets low on boost in transition and really kind of awkwardly positioned, they have a lot of opportunities to come up with these little double and triple touches off that backboard. Oh, KD with a really, really good orientation to the ball. He's going to have it in the offensive end. Still no boost at the moment. He's going to wait for the ball to get back to him. And he is giving up way too much time with that ball. That's going to be far side in a way, as Uppercase can't find it on the far side. This will be back the other side for Kracer. Kracer gets that challenge to the opposite side, wall to wall, up the ramp. Back across the halfway line into the Hawks corner. KD is going to put himself in a good spot, hopefully. Chance, that's a shot off the back. KD trying to give them the lead. Big stop by Uppercase 1, and it's going to be old OMB taking it in his own corner. Uppercase one with a goal and assist and four saves in game three now. Might have to go a fifth one here as Katie's up. Puts it wide on the far side of the net. Big opportunities for the Jets. They can't find it. And they're going to be kicking in themselves if they do not win this game because they had it in their grasp. KD is up far side. He'll miss the ball, but it does not matter. And KD's going to find it on the angle. It's going to be back to the halfway line, sent back into the top of the box. 
putting it up his uppercase. OMB is up trying to finish it on the third touch. It's a shot on net, and the frozen P is saved by KD as they keep it out. Big time plays at both ends of the field right now. One of these teams has a hero to take game three. It might be crazy because that one waterfalls down. Whoa. Uppercase one doing really well to keep that away off the goal line. Just about a minute here, and there's still nothing but just no daylight between these teams, Curtis. I can't even come up with a good analogy. <laughs> They, the, these guys are as about as separate as concrete right now. Kracer Link has control in his own end. Puts it a little bit too far, in front, far out in front of him. That'll be uppercase. Putting it up is KD. KD is going to put it back down, though. And back to the halfway line we go. Kracer's going to find an angle here. Just buy it. KD, top of the box. Just wide. That right post, he needs to find his placement as he has lost it somewhere on DFH at the moment. 34 left. Coming down to a single goal differential, possibly again. This is going to waterfall down. Far side, taken in by OMB. KD back towards the Hawks net. Uppercase has control. We've seen this before. What will he do now? He's going to boost into this, ends up hitting the ceiling. And he has to orientate himself again, but it's too late. Jets back the other way. It's KD putting this into the corner. That's going to bounce in frame. And Uppercase is going to take control in his own corner around that boost door. Tapped in front. KD! Far side and wide, and again, you can almost hear the yelling coming out of the Jets comms. Still a 2-2 game, and we have OT once more, game three on the line. KD with the game on his nose, the series lead there, and he just leans it wide left. That one might haunt him if this series doesn't go the Jets' way at the end of it. OMB is going to put this back into the Jets' end. He might try to be able to find an angle here. That's in front, but nothing that uppercase can do to get to it. KD will defer to Kracer Link. Kracer Link has a little bit of a flick here. He's going to possibly put this up in the air, then follow it. That's back to the midway line. KD's done this before. Played off the corner. Has the angle. Shot is saved by uppercase one. Really good placement on the defense from him. And he will try to get this deep. Sent back away. Off the crossbar. KD scores. Jets take game three in a 2-1 lead. Uppercase loses a dribble. He loses control of that ball. Try to cut it. Goes behind him. Crazy Link picks it off. Goes up off the backboard. OMB right next to Uppercase on the dribble. He gets beat by the play. KD up the far wing off the backboard. 2-1 series. You can't tell that Jay and I are caffeinated, can you? Jets, 2-1 to one in this series. They are two games away from a date in the Blue Conference Finals as they take the Hawks to an overtime for a second straight game. And the Hawks need a good start to this game more than ever. We have not seen a... We Actually, I take that back. We have seen only one multi-goal deficit in this contest and the Hawks came back to tie it as we get into game number four this is going to be a heck of a last four potentially four potential games of the series the Jets with the offense again 12 shots on goal forcing six saves out of the Hawks one more time they have got everything throwing towards that net but again they're only winning one goal games they're going to have to try and find a way to pull the Hawks out of position, to really kind of drill this down and stretch these leads because they're not going to win every single one of these close games. It's just, it's statistically impossible to win this many one-goal games. Three seconds left until we get into game number four. DFH Stadium is on fire right now due to the play of these guys close games throughout this is exactly what we saw in week nine this is exactly what we saw in week two as both these teams split the 10 total games that they played five and five we are just about set for action once more five minutes on the clock again and here we go for the fourth time in this series kd fake kickoff out to omb and that is going to be back to the halfway line but the jets have control Around that corner. OMB is going to look for a second touch. KD takes it away. Off the back. That's a chance in front. Jets got to get a goal here. They have a chance to do it. And a good defensive play by uppercase. Putting himself in harm's way as it'll be a scoreless game still. Didn't quite bring that under control like he wanted to out of the corner. You saw him look for that little bit of a ones pop to try and get that one into his control. Just couldn't keep it there. Keep looking for little plays like that out of uppercase when he has time on the ball. Because that's where his strength really lies. That's top of the box, taken away. Uppercase one is going to put that ahead of him, but he has no boost to follow it up, and Kracer has possession. That'll shave the ceiling, eventually come down onto OMB's nose. Old man balling, waiting patiently. KD's going to take that away from him, deferring to uppercase one, but he'll put it wide of that post. 
Not a lot of velocity on the shot in uppercase, seemingly losing the handle a little bit more than he was a little bit earlier in the series. Yeah, I uh -oh, wonder if that's the a problem. Uppercase, big stop, KD, top of the box, scores! Just under the bar, and it's a one nothing game. You get the sense that the nerves might have finally crept into the Hawks there. Old Man Ballin, I think, just jumping up with that little pop in front, really put Uppercase in a tough spot. Tried to hover at that one, couldn't get that ball away really strongly. And KD, with a great opportunity, picks it off. Minute five in to game number four. Jets with a one nothing lead at the moment. Hawks still have a chance to retaliate. Uppercase one avoids the tactical demo from KD. Pops it into the middle. Oh, and B is there, but he flips into it. And it goes off the spoiler, off the crossbar. And they let the opportunity go by. He didn't have a lot to work with there. Had to use all his boost to get up with like a lightning speed. It's really tough to get accuracy uh -oh. on that kind of shot when you're coming in really, really hot like that. Just needed to be up a little bit quicker maybe to have time to angle his car, use the length of that GTR to try and get that ball where he wanted it to go. Good clear from OMB, gets it back into the corner. Jets making things really, really difficult on the Hawks right now, but that let's take it away. Uppercase went a little bit too far out in front of him. This will shave the ceiling, eventually fall onto Uppercase. Puts it middle of the field. OMB needs to make a play. KD with the tap. And Uppercase going to get there first to at least get it away for the time being. Good read by KD. OMB needs to keep this in his team's possession. Jets are all over the place right now. This will be top of the box for KD, but the challenge is going to send it back into the blue. Strong win, though, by OMB. Gets the breathing room that the Hawks need, but unfortunately losing that 50 in the corner is going to relieve all of that pressure. Now they've got to try and get this upfield. Halftime is looming here. Down a goal is fine, but we talked about these close games. The Jets really have to recognize that the Hawks can score out of basically nothing. Grazer Link. In a decent spot, but that challenge is going to send it over the halfway line. Good chance for KD on a boomer. Looking off the nose. Bounces it off the lateral wall. Popped in front. Read well by OMB. He's going to try for the second piece of contact. That's a problem. Uppercase one has the dribble. We've seen him do this before. KD reads it well and does not let him get into a flicking range as it is a one nothing game. It remains with two minutes to go. KD closing that one down really well. You get the sense that uppercase was just a little bit ahead of where he wanted to be to try and make that play happen. And KD, you get the sense as well. He's just starting to feel this pressure as well. Rushing at a couple of plays. That one off the wall there, very much uncontested. Now he's back all the way along his defensive line, giving up a lot of space. 144 seconds to go. This, I'm sorry, 104 seconds to go. I can't, you know, math. This will be off the back. Chance, double touch. That's in front. Still a chance for OMB. Has the flip. Far side and wide. OMB's placement hurting the Hawks right now. Still only has one goal total in this series versus uppercases six. And it is a problem for the Hawks to overcome. Just got a little too close to that play before taking off. And then when he did take off, pulled his car out wide. It forced him to try and fly back at the ball to get a goal word. And that was a big uh -oh. struggle. Oh, that was say that's a good job by Katie rotating back when he needed to. Minute six to go. Uppercase will lose it. OMB coming in, gets the demo, also knocks it off the corner. Tracer Link puts that towards the sidewall. Might have a second touch, but it's pat it's past him and uppercase has control. Uppercase taking his time. The flick scores! Got it in the empty net. Game tied with less than a minute to go. KD getting stuck a little bit too passive here in his box. Tries to go out a couple of times. Finally, uppercase gets the distance on it. Puts it over his head. Tie game late. The Hawks looking to try and tie up the series again at two. We've been here before. Every game so far decided by one goal. This does not look to be any different. Kracer Link at the net. Shot is off the crossbar. Double touch. He scores. And with five seconds gone after the last goal, it's a 2-1 deficit again. The Hawks really don't want to be killing this ball here at all. Uppercase one with the face off there. I don't think he was intending to do that. The Jets just getting a perfect kill. They did it once in a previous game. And now they've got that lead right back. The Hawks right back where they were just minutes ago. Do the Hawks have a difference maker on this roster? Old Man Ballin's going to take this in the offensive end. Tries to get the touch away from KD. He does. Uppercase is there. Shot is in. He does it again. The comeback hero brings it back to even with 36 to go. Old Man Ballin does all the work on this one here. In the corner, wins the 50. The Jets are in full scramble mode. And uppercase one is going to hit that 99 times out of 100. Drops it in on the left side. Tie game yet again. This series is absolutely unreal. Kracer is going to put this in towards the offensive corner. Uppercase again takes control. 
Gets it around one. That's a chance. Off the back. No angle for the Jets to take it. And the Hawks have control. It's going to be old man balling back the other way. Trying to get this knocked into the middle as it's going to be back in Crazerlink's possession as the Hawks have to play defense. Has KD across the box and can't quite get it to him. It's still off the corner. KD can't find the angle. Has to turn back into it. Loses possession. Kracer's going to take it up the side. He has a touch. KD's on the opposite end of that. Can he find it? Oh, it's off the back. And we're going to have another OT. Three in a row. All of them two to two. Heading into extra time. This series is so intense that I am struggling to find better ways to describe it than epic. Because the level of competition between these two teams, the animosity that sits between them after the uh -oh. Week 9 series, these four players are the same four players that played in Week 9 that the Hawks came out <laughs> and stole. Just absolutely grabbed the division win in that Upper week. case, so... You just Sorry, get the sense. I... These, these players, they want this win. This is old man ball and putting it up into the air, taken in by KD. KD may be kicking himself for the opportunity gone by earlier. That's in front. Good job by Kraser flipping into it. He's got possession in the offensive corner. Got to get there first. Punch it into the middle. KD off the back. Can't find the angle just yet. And the play keeps going as we we're approaching a full minute gone in this OT. It's going to be deferred to Kraser Link. Keeps possession. KD is lurking in the middle. Gets the second touch. That's in front. And the Hawks look like they're going to get the long boomer back to the halfway line. KD missed boost. That's a problem. It's at the net. It's in front. They score. Hawks tie the series again. 3-2. 1-12 in. KD trying to cut this one off. Just took a little bit too long to do it. Kreiser like way back. Has to hit that ball. It goes off the backboard. His uppercase one to himself. We'll tie the series. Three more goals in the bank for him. We go to a best of three. I'll take the disturbing the peace ticket. This is absolutely nuts the way this series has unfolded. We are down to a best of three for a date in the Blue Conference Finals. The Hawks and Jets playing their hearts out. And both of the, all four of these players deserve a silver star for the amount of effort it takes to play in a series like this. KD kicking himself for an opportunity lost earlier in OT as well. A couple of chances for the Jets to extend that lead. And how many times did I say that in the intermission there, Curtis? Yeah. You have to extend the lead in these close games if you don't do it. And we we saw them do it. They were up two goals in the first minute. But what did the Hawks do? Scored out of nothing. Exactly like I said they were going to. You cannot contain the Hawks unless you start taking uppercase one out of this series. And the Jets, with their passive defensive setup, are not doing that effectively. So, really funny thing. I get to try to sell furniture with no voice tomorrow. It's going to be great. I can't wait. <laughs> I have my first day off in two weeks. I am just going full in on Woo! this series. 3-2. <laughs> Hawks win game four. 2-2 two, two in the series. Both of these teams need two wins to get into the next round. And we are set for action in game numero cuatro. Kracer on one side. It's going to be uppercase on the other on this kickoff. Five minutes on the clock, and we are a go again. Only three more last-second finishes left in this series. <laughs> this is 10 seconds in. That's a shot towards the far side. That's off the post. In front. Can they do it? It's Kreiser Link, but he's going to get there just a little bit late. And the Hawks have possession back in the offensive end. 21 seconds into game four. The tension is palpable. I'm sweating for these guys. This is going to be off the back. Chance for Kreiser Link. Off the back. KD is lurking. He's going to fly by the ball. And uppercase has a runner. This is going to be a 1v2. Has old man balling at the top of the box. He might need him as this is flicked back to him. And they keep it in. 45 into game four. Kreiser Link has a boomer chance. That's a shot save going across from uppercase one. Again, he is on keyboard. And that is ridiculous. I feel inferior to what he has been able to do in this series. This kid is a madman. And remember, it's his birthday today. This guy is Happy playing... freaking birthday. Absolutely. Playing like he <laughs> wants it. Playing like he wants to prove that the win against the Jets wasn't a flash in the pan in Week 9. Nice pinch. Uppercase is going to take possession at the halfway line. Touches it off the sidewall. Jets get a boomer. Racer Link gets this deep into Hawks territory. Off the back, trying to find the angle. Getting in front of that one is uppercase one. And OMB has possession. 
has the angle. Shot at the net. KD with the save coming across the face of goal. It remains scoreless. We've gone 90 seconds without a strike. This might be one here, but Kracer is going to remove this. KD takes possession very, very gingerly. Plays it in front of his own net and lives to tell about it. Off the nose, potentially. Tries to find the pinch. It's top of the box. And up is uppercase. He's going to put this far side, but just a little bit wide of that right piece of woodwork as we remain scoreless two minutes in. Old man Ballin really trying to get into this game. He's had a couple of chances to keep that ball in, but just feels like he's still that half step off. Oh. And now the demo is coming in from Kracerling on uppercase one. And that's what we talked about in the intermission between games four and five here, Curtis. Needing to take uppercase one out of the play. KD bumps into his teammate, both traveling back for boost. Hawks have a chance here. Old Man Ballin is up. He has the angle! That's in! Oh, what a shot short side from Old Man Ballin, and it's a 1-0 lead. The Hawks lining up right behind this one, but the Jets both clustering up inside that corner. The shooting lane wide open on that angle because both of them in the corner inside that line. It's tough to get to that ball, but nobody in net. They absolutely break down their rotating back. Halftime about to come and go. 1-0 Hawks as they try to take a 3-2 lead in the series. That's going to be in front. Uppercase. Shot. Oh, big save from KD. And OMB can't find it on the back end. What a save defensively from KD. Now there's a chance on the other side. Off the sidewall. KD is going to try to jump in front of this. It goes up the side once more. Looking for a touch out into the middle. Off the hood. Uppercase. Off the side once more. This will be a chance for Kracer Link. Kracer Link going to try to find the angle here, but another big stop by OMB. Hawks playing really, really good defense on the rotations as they get the ball in their possession back into the Jets' end. Off the backboard. Getting there in plenty of time. Upper Casey scores under the bar. Two goal deficit. Hawks first of this series. The Hawks waiting for this ball to come down. The Jets were completely out of order. Coming back on defense, they both fall into the net. They let that come down off the backboard, and that is death against a player of uppercase one's caliber in this league. Easy shot, easy goal, 2 nothing lead here in game five. 110 seconds left in game number five. One of these teams is going to have their opponent on match point. As of right now, it looks like it's the Hawks, but the Jets will have something to say. Fraser Link tries to get this up and over one. KD's got to be careful here. He will, it will defer to him. Good play up to the Hawks end. Fraser has control off the back, trying to find the angle, finds it, but it's just wide, actually well wide of that left post. Jets still with possession, getting the flick. KD, the carry, and I think it would have been better served to try to flick that over uppercase rather than to try to dribble it at him, but it remains a 2-0 lead. Yeah, might have just lost a little bit of sight on where uppercase one was with that dribble. It just didn't time it right, and that's kind of the problem sometimes when you're on the dribble. You get the intent to try and pull the defender in. You run out of space to make that flick work, and you end up just putting it right into their face. This is back to the halfway line. Getting the play in front. Uppercase makes contact. OMB is going to be up the back wall, and he will take possession. The pinch play back out to the top. KD is going to defer here. It's going to get past Kracer. This is the problem. It's in front. KD with the defensive touch. Still a chance. And Kracer comes back to get it off the left wheel. Very, very close to giving up the third goal of this game. And with 32 left, the Jets need to get a score here pretty quick. But that is not going to happen. Uppercase is going to seal away game five with a kiss into the open net. This one's on KD, bringing that ball out, has to recognize he's out of boost. He can't put that ball away from him. He has to pull the defender for the Hawks into a 50-50 and then try to win it. Crazy Link tries to cover, ultimately ran out of space to do it, and this game is very much going in favor of the Red. And the Hawks likely going to take game five. They will have the Jets on game point, on match point. That is not going to matter much as this series by fate probably should go seven i hope it goes seven this will be a chance for the hawks to add one more the dribble play uppercase one that's off the post they may be able to get a runner kd with the angle shot is in as they get one goal back but the game will still end roughly with a 3-1 score this goal absolutely necessary for morale's sake KD keeps his head, and that's important because he's been just a little bit off with a number of decisions in this game. He's been rushing, he's been snatching at the ball trying to win challenges, but just keeping his head, getting it into an open net, regardless of whether or not it counts towards anything for the result of this game. It's just important to settle down and focus on game six with the back against the wall. 
here we go. And you mentioned it. Backs are against the wall for the Jets. They are running out of gas, and they need to get a fill-up real quick. Hawks are on top of their game in this game. OMB finally finds a scoreboard as well. Only his second goal of the series, but it was a big one as that one got them back to even in this contest as that was a that was a 1-1 goal at that point. Three, or I'm sorry, no, that was a one nothing goal at that point. Hawks, three. Jets won. Game six on the way. And the Jets need to find a win. Otherwise, their season is over. Just about to get it going. Game six. What could be the final game of the Jets season? See what they have to say about it. We are a go. KD on one side. Old man balling on the other. And we are underway. Pinch play off the ceiling. That's going to angle towards the net. That's dangerous. Jets are not going to be able to get there first. And the Hawks able to clear it away for the time being. You guys are just joining us. Where you been? It's been an absolute classic. These Hawks and Jets are submitting to us here. This will be a chance in front of the Jets net. Good ground play from KD. Tried to put that in the air, though. Back into Kracer Link's territory. Racer has the play. He'll flip into this. Puts it in the air. Makes it difficult. He's still going to be in front. KD still lurking. Tries to get up and angle this. That's a good challenge. Back the other side. Kracer tries to get in front of it. He will take possession in his own end. And it looks like the Hawks will try to be the play the patient game. Underneath KD. That's going to be at the post. Chance for Bowen. Scores. Minute gone. And it's a 1-0 lead for the Hawks as they try to close the series. This one should have been Kracerling's ball at midfield. He missed it completely rushing in. And then they had to retreat back. They gave up all the space to the Hawks from midfield into their net. And that one might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. 54 seconds in. This is going to be off the ceiling already. Chance for Kracerling. But he can't get there in time. Uppercase one, super, super efficient on the defensive end. Keeps the ball away. That might be a runner as well. OMB, shot at the net. Kracerlink gets there first and will take it aside as we play a minute 18 in. Off the ceiling. Coming down. Shot at the net. That's going to find its way home. Kracerlink with a boomer from midfield. This is a type of shot that Jets need right now. Old man Bowen facing back towards his net as he does a little bit of an awkward half circle. Crazy like picking him off, going right above with a great shot. 107 kilometers an hour. Big time equalizer for the Jets here. An absolute magic missile from the Jets makes it a 1-1 game. It'll be taken in by Crazy Link. If he finds a magical touch, this could be a big, big game. For the Jets, KD's kind of offensive touch has cooled a bit in the last couple. This will be KD top of the box, though. He will defer. Chance for old man Ballin. Gets the touch. Kreiserling's got to play this smart. This will be in front, left, right wing side. And the Jets are going to get the possession. Uppercase puts this lateral. Off the corner wall. Finding the angle is KD. That's going to bounce Plinko style off the back. Kreiser is there trying to find it, but he can't do it. Good job by uppercase defensively, and OMB is going to send this back into the Jets' end. Fraser Link just waited a little too long to try and get that off the backboard. Wasn't comfortable in his read, and that's the little things that add up because you give uh -oh. away that golden opportunity. KD oh. with a monster save, having to fly backwards to tip that one away from the top corner. The aerial, aerial acrobatics from KD, second to none on that particular play. Super clutch on the defensive end. The game remains tied. We are coming into halftime. In game six, a game that the Jets absolutely must have. This is going to be in frame, far side, but they can't get the second touch. And it will be even still as we go past the 230 mark. This will be old man Ballin. Loses the challenge to KD. KD is up the side. It'll bounce at top of the box. That's a chance for Kracer Link, but he jumped at it a little bit too late. And it's going to go back against the back wall. Kracer with a dribble play. Finds the angle for side. He scores! What a shot by Kracer Link. Super patient play. Recognizing that the defense is out of sorts. Old Man Ballin has this line wide open. Kracer Link very wisely keeps this under control. Flicks it off the left side of the octane. Jets lead 2-1 in game six. This is a massive, massive goal. Now the Hawks are on the comeback trail. This will be into the offensive end for them. Uppercase grabs the side boost off the kick. KD is going to miss on this contact. Kracer's got to get this away. Puts it up the side, but it's right at uppercase. He's going to miss. This might set up OMB for a clear, but no. It's Kracer. Pinch. KD. 
No oh, big stuff by Uppercase getting there just in the nick of time. A little bit too much power on the pinch out of Kracer Link. Oh, he posts himself too. Big chance for the Hawks, but they're not in position to take advantage of it. Pressure still on from OMB, looking for the center. Oh, what a defensive touch by KD, but it does set up the Hawks with a chance. Uppercase goes far side. This will be a dribble play out to the top of the box. KD looking to get around one, can't do it. Takes possession still. Working 1v2, he's got no boost. Now he's got 12. He does get in front of it. He's got up the sidewall, and Kracer Link takes his boost. He's got to go all the way back. Kracer into the middle. KD's going to go up the side, but he's not going to get there before uppercase. Off the back, uppercase one. No, he's not going to go after this one. Kracer gets the deep boomer, and he might set up something in the offensive end. Almost getting that 50-50 on the line with uppercase one. Goes out wide here for old man. Ball in a minute left to go here. The Jets, uh oh! oh. Big Ooh. miss by KD. Crazily with a weak clear uppercase. Fulton oh. underneath. KD on the line. Recovered well enough to keep that away and preserve the lead. And uppercase going to take control back into his own end. KD's going to give it a follow and see if he can make things difficult. Tried for the demo. Yep, good aversion by KD. This is going to be off of the back wall. Chance for old man ball. And it'll be taking, taking control of by Kracer Link. Grabs the side boost. Gives it up to KD on the deferment. This will be up and around the corner. Dropping near frame, but not quite in frame. Uppercase flies above the ball on the flip. 30 seconds left. Do the Hawks have a hero to try to tie the game up? This is going to be uppercase. We've seen him in this chance before. He's already got two buzzer beaters in this series alone. This will be a flip. Trying to do things himself. Well play. First time. He scores. The individual play from uppercase is second to none. And they tie the game again. But look at how much space the Jets give him. They stand there watching as he brings it under control on the sideboards. Nobody turning to challenge and big time miss by KD as he just gets caught standing there. Tie game, 2-2. Two -two. Looks like overtime unless there's a hero here. Oh, KD just about saved the Jets' season. This is still a chance. Empty net, Crazy Link, big stop. KD, three seconds left, trying to find the dribble. Uppercase gets us off the side. It's still in the air, not for long. OT again, another 2-2 situation. Jets trying to save their season. The Jets were 15 seconds away from game seven, but not for just sitting there and watching uppercase one with a bit of wizardry. Now they have to defend as this ball in their end. This is not what the Jets wanted. This is going to be a chance for Kracer Link to get it away, but it's back right at Old Man Ballin. He's going to hit the ceiling with this. It'll come down on top of his nose. Good job defensively by KD. Now it's Kracer Link's job. Double touch. Chance. Angled shot is right at uppercase one. He will handle that very easily. Right at KD on the shot as well. 35 seconds in already seen shots on both sides in this OT. Hawks may have a series winner on their hood otherwise the gentle force game seven this will be in front and kracer can't get it towards the net and a big demo there with two big demos there jets are going to take control very carefully kracer link has really messed things up for the hawks at the time being but that one's just wide of that left post as we play a minute in that was a huge missed opportunity for the Jets. The big double demo. The Hawks never got themselves reset, but the play by Kraserling just not in enough control. This one high uppercase. One's going to be up for it. He's going to miss. Kraserling should be oh. on this one. A little bit late, Ooh. though. Old man balling up really well to deflect it away. KD in a good spot, though. Has the dribble. He's going to try to find it. Big save again. Uppercase one. Kraserling can't find it on the back end. KD's got to be really smart with this. In his own corner. His season on the line. This will be a chance where he comes down with it. Double touch opportunity for KD. Really, really good beating touch back the other way towards the sidewall. Jets going to take control and possession. Kracer Link being given tons of space. Now it's uppercase one, who is the first line of defense. Old man Ballin back there waiting. Uppercase with the tap ahead, taken by KD, sending this deep into Hawks territory, but wide of that left post once more as we just about hit the two-minute mark. Oh, no, here we go uppercase again. Uppercase one. one. Space. Space. He's got it. Game. Set. Match! Hawks, we will see you in the Blue Conference Finals! And again, gets control on the sideboards, no challenge out of the Jets, open spaces, Kracer Link can't rotate back in time, the Jets season ends in overtime of Game 6, as Uppercase 1 will carry the Hawks to the Blue Conference Finals! Making a play for the playoff MVP of the Platinum League is uppercase one. He has been incomparable to anything else going on in either the Orange or Blue Conferences to this point. And he has earned the Hawks a chance to have a date with the other winner 
of the Blue Conference semifinals. That is a huge, huge series from him, and he is the number one reason they move past the Jets, and the Jets are kicking themselves right now. Yeah, that is... It, 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 there is there's no way to overstate how important uppercase one is to this team oh. in that everything runs through him. Even though old man Ballin was only on the score sheet a couple of times, four saves in this game credited to old man Ballin. A couple yeah. of assists that he had were ones that were important because they set up key goals in that Hawks win in that series. I, I, I don't I, have I don't have words though to, to, to just describe the individual skill of one player. Uh happy birthday. I, I will think take it's the only thing that needs to be said. Yep. Happy freaking birthday. You have a date in the, the next week's games when with the blue conference on the line. Hawks do what they do best. They come back from dire straits in multiple occasions in this series there were four games in that series that ended three to two that is about as close as you can get we did not see a game that ended with more than a one goal deficit i do believe if my math is correct and it was game an five. absolute game five it was three a two? one jets or, two, right? or three one hawks sorry no it, it was hawks like three one yeah anyway got you either math way is hard. this math was an is absolute hard. classic yeah it, the only thing that could have made that uh, any better would have been game seven and and how much are the Jets going to look back on this VOD, look at the space that they gave uppercase with 17 seconds left and be like, that's where our season ended. It wasn't the goal in two minutes with two minutes into overtime. It was there where we gave up yeah. that shot with a two, one lead and had to go into overtime where anything can happen. It was, it was multiple occasions that happened as well. They just gave way too much space to uppercase. And uppercase has been skilled. He's been taking advantage of the space that was given to him. But that's uh, that's what the Hawks do. They take what the other team gives to them. And the Jets gave them way too much space. So good mm -hmm. stuff on them. And the Hawks move in to the next round. Jets will be looking towards Season 7. With that said, that is going to do it for this evening. But our week is not done. We still have two other series coming your way tomorrow night and it is the other two uh, platinum league playoff series that need to happen tomorrow it is going to be the spartans and the foxes on one side and on the other side it's the wizards and the elite and that will round out the final four in the platinum league as all four teams will vie for a chance at the mld championship in the platinum league next week yeah, the elite, the only team left in this playoff bracket with a chance to repeat. They were actually really the only team that could repeat coming in as the Dodgers and the Ducks didn't make it into the playoffs this season. So we might see the fourth franchise ever to lift the trophy at the end of this playoff bracket. But not if the elite have anything to say about it. They will be facing off against the number one seed in the Orange Conference in the Wizards. Or the number two seed, excuse me. My math is bad. The Rhinos were that one the other time. <laughs> and then... The Fox, this matchup, this, the Blue Conference bracket is essentially the same as last season. It's the number one seed overall in the Sky Division winners against the Jets who make it out of, or against the, the wildcard winner. And then the the Foxes and the Spartans in a rematch. That That is the same matchup that happened last season in this exact same part of the bracket. The number two and the number three seeds out of their divisions. It it This playoff bracket just doesn't get any better. No, it doesn't. You're exactly right. And we have a lot more hype coming your way. Hopefully my voice will recover over the next 24 hours. Oh, but wait, I have a nine hour furniture selling shift that I have to try to fight through with my voice intact. So it should be fun. With oh, that wow. said, <laughs> want to give a huge shout out to our friends over at Balls Corona. They sponsored the MLD play of the week. And I know there were some awesome plays that you can clip and send to the ML Doubles Twitter account in both of those series that you saw this evening. Send them over, get them nominated. Winner gets a case of Balls Corona sent to your door, sent to their door, and you can get a ball, case of Balls Corona sent to your door free of charge, with the exception of the actual product, by using code MLD at checkout at balls.com that's b-a-w-l-s dot com also a huge shout out to arctic cooling our other title sponsor in this season six with that said we are done for this evening goodbye and good night from dfh stadium for about 22 hours we will see you tomorrow night nine eastern that's six for those of you living in the past three hours behind and that is showdown sunday for the last of the platinum league playoffs for ninja kendo jay and myself curtis saying goodbye and good night we'll see you tomorrow night
She just shuts her ears. She's fine. 